Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to a brand new vlog. I just got back from my trip to Ireland and the UK, so I'm still kind of getting over jet lag at the moment. But today at the nursery at ASAM, we have something special going on. We're going to be building some new benches down in this lower area here. So a couple of vlogs back, I showed you guys the expansion of ASAM, which you can see behind me here, but obviously we haven't done anything to this area since that vlog. Well, all of that changes today because we're getting some major posts installed down here that I can then build the bench is onto. So in keeping with the theme of the fence around the nursery, we're going to be putting in six by six or 15 centimeter by 15 centimeter posts. So nice, big, heavy, weighty posts in a grid pattern down here. And then I'm going to build benches on top of that. So I want to show you guys what that process is like. But first things first, we're going to have the guys come in and actually install the posts for me because I can't do that. Like I said before, there's too much limestone in the ground here. So it's impossible for me to just dig out the post hole. So they're going to be bringing in some heavy duty equipment, blasting the holes out, putting the those posts up for me today and then we're gonna build the benches so let's get started by the way I don't know if I showed you guys this last time in one of the previous vlogs but in recent weeks we've gotten new material in here to ASA and you can see some of them behind me here these are giant 1c junipers these were actually collected only back in July so about three months ago out of the desert in New Mexico they've actually fared relatively well in that short period they've started to put out new elongating shoots which means they're all surviving which is great news but what we're gonna be doing is leaving these down here for the next year to acclimatize and to continue to grow before we do anything to them. So just wanted to show you guys some of the projects that we've got coming up here at ASAM. We're going to be featuring these in future videos on our YouTube channel, so definitely check back for those videos. While we're waiting for the guys to show up to put the posts in, I want to show you another tree here at the nursery. This is a pinion pine. This is actually collected out of the same New Mexican desert as the one seed junipers down below. Now this tree is really interesting. It's not your traditional bonsai. It has a very narrow base to it comes up and gets very wide in the center where all of the deadwood features are, and then it fans out to the left here. This tree is a really special tree to me. It was gifted to me by Richard Lee, who actually collected this tree and all of the 1C junipers down below. So I'm gonna be styling this tree in an upcoming video. I'm really excited to show you what our native pines can become here in the United States. So this is one of my favorite trees in the garden. It's a little bit different, but I really like it, and I hope you guys like it too once I get it done. But definitely check back to the YouTube channel in the coming weeks for the styling video of this particular pine. So today is the day that we're actually going to be installing the benches down here on the lower area. You can see the guys did a fantastic job yesterday putting in the posts. Took them all day to get 24 posts set up here. And again, like I mentioned earlier, it's all limestone down here. So they brought out some heavy duty equipment to really punch those holes, make sure that these posts are deep enough and they backfilled it with concrete. So they should last a long time. Now what we're going to be doing today is actually attaching the benches to these posts. So I thought this would be a much easier and simpler way to build the benches than what we did in the upper garden in there now that up there it looks really nice but it took a heck of a lot of work to build each individual bench leg set it up get everything leveled out get it secure and in position down here though it's going to be much much easier so essentially what we're going to be doing is taking two by fours running them horizontally across each of these posts then we're going to be laying two by tens on top of each of those two by fours so it's going to be very very simple very easy setup but i want to show you kind of what this process is going to look like so we're going to have some benches going this direction some benches going this way so it's not all the same throughout and look a little bit boring I think if we did it that way and one other thing I want to point out is the fact that we made these posts so tall here these are actually 10 foot posts and what I'm gonna do up at the top here is build a structure out of wood that we can put shade cloth over in the summer months and that we can put poly over during the winter so we can create sort of basically like a giant cold frame out here to store some of the trees in so I think this is gonna work pretty well. If it all works out as I see it in my head, I think it's gonna turn out pretty cool, but I'll let you guys be the judge of that. So let's get into it. 
So these are the cross beams that we're gonna be using here to actually support the new benches. These are gonna be attached directly to the six by six posts, splitting across the post. So we have one bench on one side of the post and one bench on the other side of the post. So this is gonna make the setup of these particular benches way easier than our original benches up here in the upper garden. So the original benches that I built up in the upper garden there, they're about 38 inches tall. It's mainly because I'm tall and I wanted to have the benches at a height where I could easily lift trees on and off myself. Well, down here, since we're building the shade structure above this, I want as much space between the tops of the trees and the shade structure at the top. So I'm actually gonna build these benches a little bit lower down here, probably somewhere between, I'd say 24 to 30 inches, somewhere in that range. I'm gonna measure it out and see exactly what makes the most sense. And then we're gonna take these cross beams here and actually attach them to the six by six posts. And like I said earlier, we're gonna be putting those two by tens on top of these two by fours. So that's gonna give us our nice bench structure here. So as you can see, after three days of a lot of hard work, I've got the structure all built and ready to rock and roll. Now there are a few things that I'm gonna to have to add, like some extra supports under some of the benches to keep them from wobbling or bowing in the centers, but I have to do that after I get back from my next trip to Europe, which actually starts tomorrow. So I've gotta go inside, pack everything up. I'm gonna be heading over to Spain to work again with Rafa at Bonsai Sense in Mallorca. And then from there, I'm heading over to France to do the Bonsai Sun Show in Salyu. So of course, I'm gonna take you guys along for that ride. But in the meantime, I've got to head inside and go to bed because I am absolutely exhausted. Thank you once again for checking out this vlog. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next vlog. Till then though, take care.